Hey man, what's good brothers? What's going on? I hope you guys are doing well, staying safe, protecting your energy and moving forward towards your goals. Anyway guys, this is Frank. You're joining me on Frank's Journey, the best channel on self-improvement. Anyway, I'm going to be talking about lusting versus loving today guys. On the topic of semen retention, lusting versus lust, uh, loving versus lusting. Now, I talked about this before on my channel. I talked about it before, but I wanted to go into more detail. Um, I talked about it, you know, it, it's probably been like a couple months, two, three months since I last spoke about it. But now I'm going to come back onto it today. So, guys, love, loving versus lusting. You know, it may be difficult to accept at first or even try to understand that loving and lusting are two, two polar opposites. But the thing is, let's start with love. You know, love really enforces relationships. You know, it builds, it harmonizes and it brings symphony and it brings, you know, abundance to a relationship. It brings abundance. Whereas, you know, lust destroys, lust diminishes, and lust, um, you know, it effectively, it kills relationships, you know, it severs good relationships, it severs, um, you know, bonds between people, and ultimately it destructs. <clears throat> Now, action rooted in love is manifested as servitude. Action rooted in lust is manifested as possession. Now, when you love somebody or something, you want to give yourself to it. When you lust, lust somebody or something, you want to have it for yourself. You know, I've, I've spoken about lust before. You know, lust is deep rooted in a yearning essentially, uh, for something. It's a searching. And, you know, it is, um, it stems from a, a negative source. You know, lusting is never a beneficial, it's never a benefit to lust. But love, it really builds upon what you have. It builds structure, you know, it builds, um, you know, relationships. That's, that's the... That's the big thing there. <clears throat> um, yeah, this is this is connected to the idea of servitude versus slavery. When you love, you want to serve. When you lust, you want to possess. Um, yeah, so I'm just reading through this. Uh, if lust doesn't get what it wants, anger is born. So the thing with that is that if lust, if you allow lust to manifest itself, if you allow lust to take control, if you allow lust to um, gain access to your emotions, gain access to your thoughts, then anger is born because um, really a, you know, a follow up from lust is anger because it's anger that it can't access what it wants. <laughs> You know, it's a, it's a negative reaction of disappointment. If lust gets what it wants, greed is born. And that's a negative reaction of wanting more. What is enjoyed? These are the only two outcomes. This is an internal metaphysical fact, which can never be argued against. If lust doesn't get what it wants, it will cause suffering in the form of disappointment, frustration and anger. If lust get what it gets what it wants, there will be more lust. So as as I say, you know, lust on top of lust, and then you have, you're clouded. Your vision's clouded. You know, you're no longer seeing things clearly and straight. Um, there will be more lust. This is what it is meant by the saying: ever, uh, ever scratched, never satisfied. Never scratched, ever satisfied. That lust, anger, and greed are the three gates to hell, and the sane man should abolish them completely and immediately. Now, if you believe in hell, then that, that's up to you. However, lust, anger, and greed 
Anger and greed both stem from lust. And lust compiled with these feelings only harbour more negative emotion. And as it says here, it's the gateway to hell with these emotions. They are low vibrating emotions. They do not bring any advantage to them. You know, they are not something that you want to be carrying with you. And the thing is, why is this relevant to today's video? Why is it relevant? Well, semen retention. When you're practicing semen retention, if you're new to it, you know, lust creeps in. Lust is the secret killer that will try to dissuade you off of your path. But you have to notice it and not be tempted. Um, but as I say, understanding this can be very intimidating at first. Um, it's, uh, sorry, sorry. Yeah, it's just, we have to understand, guys, that desire is different from lust. There are two different paths that desire can take. The desire to possess and the desire to serve. The former is lust and the latter is love. When desire arises, then the solution is then to channel it is his servitude. The mind will resist at first, as it has been conditioned to derive pleasure from possession. But when the accumulation point of sight to enjoy servitude is reached, there will be a miracle. You know, as we say there, that love is in the in the possession, in the action of trying to serve, then that is a love. But if you're trying to possess, that is lust. You know, um, and as I say, lusting versus loving. Lust, loving enforces, loving builds. You know, you, there's nothing in this world that is was manifested without love. You know, love, love really amplifies success where lust diminishes it. But guys, I thought that was helpful for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. And I'll be posting more content like this. Anyway, guys, I'm out. Stay blessed and stay healthy. We're on this journey to become wealthy. I'm out.